Welcome back to Limitless TV. Although many people are doing it, the question is, are student loans good or bad? Hey friends, Stephen Michael Miller here, and you may be asking yourself this question, why is he wearing glasses, sunglasses, inside? And the truth is, is my future is so bright that I've got to wear shades. Hopefully you've got that uh, musical reference. But the question is, is our student loans good or bad? We're talking about our future being bright. So many people get into this, this, uh, this process of going to school and getting student loans and taking on a bunch of debt uh, only to get an education. And then after their education is done and they've graduated, um, they, they've got all of this debt that they have to deal with. And I'm going to take this from a little bit of a different angle because I don't necessarily believe that student loans are bad. And I don't think that they're necessarily good either, but it really depends on what your focus is and what you want to accomplish with those. So if you are getting student loans and you have uh, a proper system in place, which with, uh, as to how you're going to pay those back, if you know exactly what you're going to be doing in order to pay back those loans, you have a business plan in place that you're going to put into, into effect to be able to not only pay off those loans, but to start paying yourself, then getting those student loans can be really good. As a matter of fact, student loans, if viewed as a business expense, can be a great thing to do. Why? Well, because student loans oftentimes are subsidized, uh, meaning they, they, along with them, you have a lower interest rate, right? So it can be easier to pay off over time. And so student loans, when looked at from a business perspective, it could potentially be a really good thing. Sometimes you can qualify for student loans that can take care of uh, other things outside of just your school, right? Sometimes student loans can be used for housing uh, and, and living expenses or other things like that. And so getting a student loan, if you're using it the right way, it can actually do a lot to propel you in what you're doing in real estate. I mean, think about this. If you had a student loan and you could use a portion of that to go put a down payment on a home, um, if you could rent out the basement of that home, or maybe it's a duplex and rent out the other side of that duplex, not only were you able to get a, a cheaper funds for that while you're going to school, but it also it could also help you in your investing, allowing you to use those cheaper funds to create a bigger spread for you that puts more and more money in your pocket. Some of you of us think that if we're going to college, we can't do other things or we can't have a business that's flourishing or we can't be smart financially speaking, but going to college, if you do things right in those college years, if you utilize those student loans the right way, chances are that that could be some of the greatest formative years of your life, putting you way further ahead than all of your peers. And it's not about comparison necessarily, but but if you can learn how to use the assets that are available to you in the very best way possible, then again, you're going to put yourself in a much better financial position than those that go out and get the student loans, live, you know, the normal way, maybe don't get a job. They're just, just, you know, taking on more and more and more debt just to get through school and they're not doing anything smart with it. So is it smart to get a student loan? Well, the answer is, yeah, it absolutely could be or it could not be based on how you're going to use it. So my, rec my recommendation here is make sure that when you're jumping in, that you put a plan in place. Um, this is one of those age old adages, right? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Well, the same is true with your student loans. If you fail to plan exactly how you're gonna use those and exactly what they're gonna do for you, then your plan will be one of failure. You will find yourself at the end of your school career, you know, at the end of your four to six to eight to 12 to however many years you may be going to school, you'll find yourself coming to the end and scared to death because you don't know exactly how you're gonna pay those off. I mean, I've even seen this with doctors and dentists and engineers and lawyers and some of these top paid professions where they get done with their school. Now they're a hundred or $200,000 in debt and they don't have a good plan as to how they're going to eliminate that debt. Oftentimes having to, uh, you know, defer the payments or, or get, get assistance of some sort to, to remove or, or try to remove some of those payments or, or, or have to get on a payment plan and lower those payments below where they should have been in the first place. And that's, that's jumping down a career path without a real plan in place for financial security and financial abundance. So if you're gonna get student loans, make sure you have a plan in place. If you don't have a, a plan in place, I would say don't, don't get the student loans in the first place. Uh, that plan is absolutely critical. Um, but if you do have that plan, it can set you up for the rest of your life in a much better scenario.
All right, friends, it's all about switching the way we think about things, right? It can be either way. The real thing is that you have a plan, right? That's the really important thing. So if you'd like to learn how to create a plan, not just on your own, but maybe need some help with that, click on the link in the description below. We'd love to help you out there with our team. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We're putting out more and more and more content every single day. And with that, guys, have an awesome week, and we'll see you on the next one.